bunnies welcome to another naked sunday video for today's naked sunday video i am going to be shamelessly plugging my event before we begin go ahead and grab yourself a drink <laughs> what i'm drinking is vodka with welch's passion fruit cherry i think i got it right this time and a couple cubes of ice so go ahead grab your drink i'll be right here swirling and sipping waiting for you to come back okay my event uh, now as most of you know naked sunday has been on this channel for years and years and years last year i had a naked sunday live aka naked sunday full frontal follow the ig follow the facebook i had such an amazing time at that last event that i've decided to do it every year so the second annual naked sunday full frontal <laughs> will be June 2nd of this year 2019 if you guys want to come I'm going to leave the ticket link in the bio I'm making of course the price is going to be reasonable last year it was ten dollars this year we had to increase it because it's going to be bigger than the last one the last one I had two vendors I had a poet I had music I had open bar I'm going to have all of that still music poetry open bar i am going to have two co-hosts with me on the chair on the couch we're going to be talking sex we're going to be networking we're going to be drinking we're going to be vibing just like how we are right now but in person the location will also be bigger than the last one so i can accommodate more people and more vendors so you can you know buy your sex stuff or your whatever stuff whatever vendors decide to join us this year there is going to be vip seating where is the first two rows in front of the couch so that section right there is reserved i do believe the location that i'm trying to get has a stage has a platform so we'll be a little bit elevated so that even if you're in the back you can still see us but the thing with getting one of the RSVP seats, the VIP seats, is that you also get a gift bag and your reserved seat so that nobody can take your spots and nobody can take your gift bag. You get a bunch of goodies from the sponsors that I'm trying to get. Okay. You see how long I've been trying to get Wilches to sponsor me and nobody, I know y'all have some rich uncles out there, have them <laughs> sponsor, <laughs> sponsor my drinks. Okay. Okay. Like literally, only two companies felt sorry for me and decided to sponsor me. Why my phone keep unlocking? Only two companies so far felt sorry for me and decided to sponsor me. And that was Good Vibes and Rum Runner. And I should probably hit them up and see if they want to sponsor Naked Sunday Full Front All too. But that's <laughs> that should be like a story time or something. Cause girl, mm. I have performers coming. One of the poets. The, la the poet I had in the last one, I was very excited about her. She killed it. If you guys watch, if you didn't watch that video to see the highlights of what happened, I'll put it in the description bar because I didn't put the entirety of the the conversation in the video because it was so much stuff. It was so long, and I wanted to put as much in there without it being drawn out. So it's a six minute video. I'll leave it in the bio in the description so you can see it so you can watch it and see how fun it was the last time so you guys can come if you want to if you're in the fort lauderdale area or if you're going to be in fort lauderdale in june to june 2nd beginning of the month so yeah come through so that poet i was very excited about and i'm tempted to invite her back to this one but i do want to give other poets the chance to showcase their talents so i hit up two other poets one is a guy one is a girl because the topic we're doing is battle of the sexes so i do want to have more male involvement but for the majority it's going to be all female you feel me it's going to be a female dj female bartenders mixologists fem mainly female vendors i think i have one male vendor that i really want to get and he's a masseuse if he drops out i'm gonna just go with a female so i have the one male poet I'm trying to get this female poet, but she has not responded to my DMs. I don't know why she won't respond to me. It's crazy, but whatever, you know, people, this is the name Naked Sunday and think it's like spam or some creepy shit, but whatever. I'm gonna keep DMing her until she, until she loves me. Like I said, I had to increase take prices and I just explained why. Bigger location, more drinks, more stuff, more people, space, more, the location is more expensive. I'll say that much. And I am doing everything I don't want to say I'm doing everything myself. I really don't want to do that because 
I have people behind me who are, you know, really motivating me and really putting me in front of the right people to make these connections to get. So I don't want to say I'm doing it all by myself. I really don't want to say that. So no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but yeah, the event is going to be so much fun, just like it was last year. I'm really, really excited. I was talking to my girlfriend last night. <laughs> And, okay, so that's all that, that, that came off really weird. She's not my girlfriend, but I was talking to one of my friends <laughs> last night, and I was telling her that I got my first ticket inquiry that same day. And how my anxiety kicks in. She's like, it's not anxiety, you're excited. We need to stop calling these emotions or labeling them as something negative when it's really a positive you're happy i'm happy i'm genuinely happy and excited and i re I, I i don't want to hurry up and come because i'm enjoying the planning process but i want to hurry up and come so i can be there and, and just enjoy everything and then the two co-hosts that i have i call them co-hosts instead of panelists because i want them to feel like it's their events as well you know i want them to to embrace naked sunday full frontal and feel like it's their naked sunday as well you know so yeah and the, the co-hosts that i have you're going to love them one of them is kimmy lavage who i've had on this couch well when i did have a couch <laughs> we talked about our first anal experience the other one is momo willie she has not yet been on my channel but no actually she was at the last naked sunday so the girl who had the knife who was you know poking her tongue that is momo willie if you guys watched the video you would know who i'm talking about but me and momo willie go way 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 back from the twitter days when me and my husband just started dating yeah me and momo willie go way back and i'm just now thinking about it and it's like crazy but she's a lot of fun she's very open-minded she's very she's very she's she's a smart girl i don't want to put no big words i don't want to put no big labels i don't want to she's a very intelligent individual i love her for her honesty i love her for her personality she's just an all-around awesome person matter of fact she's on my instagram i'm gonna pull up the picture and post it right here we did a radio interview with the same girlfriend i was just talking to last night but yeah so uh <laughs> Momo Willie, Kimmy Lavage, I'm thirsty. There is going to be an open bar. Open bar is a must. When it comes to Naked Sunday, what do we always do? Dwank. So we have to have dwanks. That's my best Jesse Wu impression. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, one of Jesse Wu wants to come. That would be so much fun. Oh my god. But anyways, yeah. Shooting too high? No, can't shoot too high. I'm gonna shoot for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna slide in her DMs. Matter of fact, let me do it right now. Oh, should I DM her from my Instagram though? Ooh, ooh. Look at Iggy Azalea. Can you see her? Can you can you can you focus for me, please? Look at Iggy. Look at Iggy. Looking like a whole snack. I love her so much because I really want her to come. I want a lot of people to come. And even if they don't come, I want them to hear the name, know the name. I want to put a name in front of their face. I'm going to DM everybody in the Miami Fort Lauderdale area and tell them to come out. Because even if they don't come, I want their the name Naked Sunday and Naked Sunday Full Frontal to be in their minds. So whenever the hashtag or the somebody mentions it around them, it comes up, they're like, oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, I know that. You know, that's the vibe I want. That's what I want. That's my goal. That's like, I don't even care if they come up. Actually, I do care. Please come, please. But yeah, what else? What else? What else? There's not going to be food. So eat before you come. Let me just put that out there. I am going to... My vendor last year, oh, Kimmy Levage was my vendor last year. She did bring edibles, and that was a smash. So I'm going to see if I can get, if you follow the Naked Sunday um, Instagram, I did tell y'all to tell Weed Candy World or Weed World Candies to sponsor me. Thanks. But um, <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if they, like, do that kind of stuff. Like, it would be dope if I could get some, ooh. 
just had an idea. I'm not gonna say it on here. That's for the planning part, the planning part of Naked Silly Full Frontal. But yeah, I'm I am dead so excited. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I don't know what my hair is gonna look like. It's probably gonna be blonde because I've been feeling the blonde look, but that's all the way in the middle of the year, June. So we'll see how I feel in June because y'all know last year I was I would not be doing this at all last year i would not be doing this bright blondes come on come on but yeah <laughs> so let's tell you the topic the topic is cunnilingus and who does it better boys or girls boys or girls and that's why it's bad of the sexes but i guess it would only be girls participating unless the guy is bisexual no because the guy's not the one guessing the cunnilingus so yeah <laughs> I think I just like defeated the whole like purpose or whatever because I really wanted more male participation but with it being who gives but ahead in conilingus and instead in, in or should I make it like a competition then I would need guys on the panel hmm. should I make it a competition where it's like who really does give better ahead is conilingus better than fellatio is it is it <laughs> i think those are two separate topics um you can't really compare the two and i think they're both amazing granted i've never had fellatio so but yeah i don't think we have to work harder to give y'all head physically we have to work harder y'all need to you know find the fucking clitoris and the fucking g-spot and get your shit together is what y'all need to do but let me not get emotional about this let me not because what you need to do is listen to your woman and i also want to note that i haven't eaten all day and i'm already drinking so yeah it's a sunday full frontal come through Ticket link will be in the bio. I'm working on the location. I'm trying to finesse them to give me the space. Obviously not for free, Lori, because no, who does that? It's a whole space. But um, I'm trying to get them to reserve the spot for me. Maybe I should just call them, right? Whatever. That's what grown-ups would do? No, I have friends who know them, so I'm asking my friends to ask them for me because I'm still a child. <laughs> You have to be 21 to drink. So I'm going to have to get wristbands. 18 to join in on the phone and have a conversation and whatever, whatever, whatever. But it's 21 to drink. You have to be 21 to drink. So I'm going to have to have somebody at the door checking y'all IDs and giving you guys wristbands to prove that you're either 18 or 21. Last year I did a lot of comp tickets. I know I for sure want to have a guest list set. And I know for sure I want to invite certain people to come through and to just, you know, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Still planning. Still planning. Still planning. Still planning. If you are a person who believes that your brand would fit well with this event slide in my email <laughs> no dm naked sunday full frontal and we'll work something out i do have a vendor package if you want to be a sponsor to include your items into the the vip guest bags slide into the dms na at naked sunday full frontal on instagram you want to make sure that your brand fits with the events if you sell jesus t-shirts it might not I, I i don't know it might not fit might not fit talking about sitter things so <laughs> you know if you sell mugs it, it might not fit it might not fit unless your mugs have some kind of sexual ex i don't know um i i'm trying to get a henna girl to come through i am trying to get a masseuse i think i mentioned that before to come through i am trying to get a lingerie person to come through i really want a pole dancer or a stripper there not necessarily a stripper a pole dancer you know 
I want a pole dancer to come through. I want, you know, just, just fun stuff. <laughs> Not that Jesus t-shirts and mugs aren't fun, but you feel me? I don't think this event goes with that branding and not trying to exclude anyone but yeah it, it is what it is if you're a company who makes edibles my event my girl my vendor sold out of every single piece of at least I think she did I don't know I, I believe she did I, let me answer this call hold on hello Are you, are you serious right now? Or press nine to be So that call was um, telemarketers and it didn't even give me the option to like take me off of their call list. It was so stupid. Anyways, Naked Sunday Full Frontal come through. I feel this video was long enough. And um, if you, but if you feel like I, I didn't say something that I should have said, I need to go eat something, man. Leave it in the comment section below. <laughs> If you feel like I should have mentioned something, did I say that already? If you feel like I should have said something I didn't say, leave it in the comment section below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. If you have a question that you're embarrassed to ask, oh, wait. This is why there has to be an open bar at Naked Sunday, I promise you. Okay. If you have a question that you're too embarrassed to ask, my email is in the description bar. Send me an email. Do not comment on my post a million different times. Do not DM me a million different times. Do not send me pictures of your penis. I don't want it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys come through to Naked Sunday Full Frontal. I really hope I covered everything. I really, really do. If I didn't, again, and you still have a question, leave it in the comment section. Come to Naked Sunday Full Frontal if you really want to meet me. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace sign and kissy face. Bye.